When you begin your collage, start by selecting a base. You can use any of the colored base papers or you can use white drawing paper as a base. Do not cut the base paper. Then you will need to choose paper to cut out shapes from. There are different kinds to choose from like decorative paper, tissue paper, and painted paper. Once you have all of your materials, start cutting out your shapes. There is more than one way to cut out a shape. One way is with scissors. Another is using fancy scissors. Another way would be to use a, a shape punch. And then you could also tear instead of cutting. I'm gonna use a shape punch. <clears throat> when you use a shape punch, the best way to do it is turn it upside down so you can actually see what you are um, cutting out. When you are cutting out shapes, it's best to use the side of the paper instead of drawing the shape or just cutting the shape out from the middle of the paper. That saves paper. Another thing is that when you um, are cutting out shapes, you don't have to draw them first. You can just actually cut them out um, and eyeball it, and that is called drawing with your scissors. And you might get some really interesting things happening um, just without planning it first. Once you have all of your shapes cut out, then start moving them around on the paper until you are satisfied with what you have. The first time you arrange them may not be the best arrangement, so play around with what you can get to find the best arrangement. Once you are satisfied with what you have, then you can start gluing things down. You can use a glue stick or you can use a sponge glue. And the reason we don't have or use regular Elmer, Elmer's glue bottles is because they get clogged up. So this is just as good or even better. What you do is you just take the piece of paper and press it down on the sponge and that will get just enough glue on the paper to glue it down. Um, I shouldn't see anyone actually dipping the paper in the puddle of glue around the sponge because that will get just way too much glue. If you have a an item that's too big for the sponge, just do a little bit at a time. The next step is to add details, if you wish, using any drawing tools. So I could take a marker and add some details in, like an eye for the fish, a mouth. Another thing that works really well is um, oil pastel because it really shows up well on the paper.